Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing the Netflix Masters of the Universe Castle Grayskull with a couple figure pack. I actually got to go with it. But before we get on to the review itself, we're going to talk about He-Man a little bit, because this is my first time, my second time actually reviewing some He-Man stuff, so third or second time. Well, second being the word, second. He-Man is one of the masters of the universe, and he protects the Eternia from Grayskull, from, not Grayskull, but from Skeletor, so sorry if I had to slightly correct myself. So he's protecting Eternia from Skeletor, saving the universe, such is his goal. But now that it's been a minute, we're going to look at each item itself. First, we're going to look at our two figures. We got He-Man, of course, with his sword in the back, got a drone, got Skeletor, if I can get him to... There's Skeletor right there. Sorry if I had to do that, because he's really loose in the box, because I got so excited to review these. I opened the box up. And then he's got this little hunter drone. But we will open that box once we look at the box for Castle Grayskull. And we're going to move Castle Grayskull slightly and look at that box. The artwork on this box is amazing. It's so cool and amazing. I definitely was glad to pick this up because I don't have a Castle Grayskull to go on my Masters of the Universe. But now I do. Which makes me happy and I can display this with ease. The artwork on the box is really good. It makes 20 lights and sounds. Now we look at the back of the box. Like always. And it shows off all the play features and figures you can pick up for this play set got the trap door, which you can send a bad guy into the jail cell, which is nice. You got storage for extra weapons. You got He-Man to go on top. You got Orko, which I don't have. Battle Cat. Man in Arms can go there. You got Battle Pods you can put figures and be like attacking Skeletor from behind. It's a pretty awesome box playset. So... Now that we're done with that, we can get back to looking at our figure box. And yeah, we got this to go with the castle. So we got Skeletor and He-Man himself. Masters, He-Man, Masters of the Universe. Nice artwork on this box. And then you got a product shot of these figures, which looks pretty cool. And now we're ready to unbox our figures, because that's all there is to say for the box. First, we got Bad Wicked Skeletor. He looks pretty awesome. My first completed Skeletor. We got his, uh, his little drone bots. Look at that. That's pretty cool. With the one eye. And last but not least, we got He-Man himself. I have the power. And I couldn't help that Masters of the Universe reference. <laughs> you know me, I like to have a lot of fun here on my toy review channel. So now we're going to get him wielding the sword of power. Ready to do battle with Skeletor. And now we can have him use his sword to open Castle Grayskull, if I can get him to hold it. It's always a pain in the neck to get him to continue to hold his sword. Now we're ready to insert it. Come on, E-Man. Wield your sword of power. There we go. Now we use his sword to open Castle Grayskull. So we are going to insert it there. It's going to light up once we put the key, key in. And just drop the sword. And the drawbridge opens up. Oh, that is just so cool. It does come with an extra sword of power. 
As you can see, I have this He-Man wielding it from 2003 Mickey D's toy. But now we're going to show off all the play features as we open this puppy up. So let's open up Castle Grayskull. Pull that down. Reveal the hidden armory. Pull this down. Reveal the control center. And it comes out. Oh, that's just cool. This comes out too, which is cool. And look at how massive this thing is. Wow, it's just so amazing. And I look forward to displaying this in my collection. This is just so cool. But yeah, it's supposed to make noise too. Let me get down to comparisons now that we're actually done showing off all the Castle Grayskull play features. And this panel does not want to stay on. So I get for leaving it loose. And now we're going to show off the weapons that come included with the castle. Got this sword that reminds me of the original Sword of Power. So we'll give this to our 2003 He-Man if I can get him to hold it. If I can get him to hold it without dropping the sword. Aha! Uh -huh. There we go. Now we got a complete 2003 He-Man with, with the Sword of Power. of his own and we got this big axe which is cool and another sword well this is just cool so it does come with some extra weapons and that's awesome but now for the he-man comparisons now for the comparisons here's our netflix he-man next to his 2003 counterpart this one is newer generation. That one is old school style generation, which is cool. And of course, with bad old Skeletor. Because he just dropped his Havoc staff. Come on, Skeletor. And now for some comparisons with some other Netflix figures. If I can... The other Netflix figure I got, which is... Trap Jaw and his Trap Bike. Oh, man, that's cool. I have two of the bad guys. I need to collect more bad guys. And now for some comparisons with some other figures. Here we got a little display figure of Beastman. And uh, Stratos. And who could forget many faces? Original Man at Arms. These are all subject style figures. If I can get them to stand. And as of right now, we own. And I forgot about one Skeletor. My original 1980s Skeletor. Just because I have a 1980s Skeletor. I just don't have a Havoc staff for him. And of course, Trapjaw. And how many Masters of the Universe vehicles and figures do we own as of 2023? As of 2023, not 2023, 2024. Sorry, I've had to correct myself again. As of 2024, the number of Masters of the Universe figures we own to go with our playset is one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten Masters of the Universe figures for our first ever Masters of the Universe collection. If you like this video as much as I enjoyed making it, please make sure to like, please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Oh, and I forgot to show off one final thing before I say rock on and rock out. These pods come off and you can put a figure in. We'll put 2003 He-Man in. And now he can go riding in the battle. Oh, that's just so cool. And now this is Eddie Hill. Moving on. And rock on and rock out. YouTube land.